All right, so my name is Mr. John. I am the science educator here at Children's Museum Houston. And today we are at our Good Vibes show. These happen at 11 and 2.30 every Tuesday through Friday. And today we are doing some really cool science. Heavy emphasis on the word cool, coal. Now I had kind of posed the question of what we think this might be. Does anyone have a guess? Woo, say that again. Dry ice, awesome, does any, very good, very good answer. Does anyone know what dry ice is? Now it's not just ice that's dry. I mean, you're, you're, not, you're not wrong. What do you think? Say it real loud. Ah, very, uh, I like that answer though. We're right there. So it's just a different type of ice. So this is not liquid water turned into a solid. Does anyone know what carbon dioxide is? Everyone that does this? You're producing carbon dioxide gas. Well, this is the solid form and it's really, really cold. When I unscrew this, you're gonna see some, you can see some of the smoke in here. I'm gonna add a little bit in here. So we wanna keep producing some smoke. So when I drop it in the water, you can see it bubbling really, really fast. So something's happening here. Evaporation, evaporation is where we go from a liquid to a gas. Does anyone know what it's called when you go from a solid to a gas? Sub sublimation. All the adults are like, oh my gosh, I remember 25 years ago, wow. Yeah, so this is sublimating. So this smoke that you're seeing is carbon dioxide and water vapor. So I'm gonna add a couple to this tube and you're gonna see the bubble, you're gonna see the bubbling again. Now what do you guys think is gonna happen when we add some soap to it? So it's gonna start producing some smoke, it's gonna start overflowing. But we're gonna add a little bit of soap. What do you think should happen? Well, hopefully bubbles. Well, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not seeing anything yet. Oh! So our little carbon dioxide water vapor cloud is actually being trapped. I can grab some of this and Because now at this point, this is just water vapor. It's not dangerous, it's not icy cold. In fact, it's actually warm because the water is warm. So the water droplets that are in here are actually a little warm. So we're gonna let this run, keep running, running, running. I'm gonna drop a couple things in here so you guys can see the sublimation happening. Now, if I drop dry ice in here, what color cloud do you think we'll get? Do you think we'll get blue? Do you think we'll get white? Now, what about here? What about our green? What do you think? Maybe green. I don't know. I've never done this before. I have no idea. And I hilariously can't grab it with the tongs. Oh, that's not going to fit. Maybe, maybe, no. Let's just set that on the table for a second. Okay, we'll drop this, splash. We'll drop another one, splash. And then let's add a couple in there. And let's see if we get We'll add a bunch in. Okay, so we're still getting the white smoke, but you can see the bubbles are green bubbles with white smoke trapped inside. We'll let these keep running, and I'm gonna drop this in our big container here. Because what, what I have kind of working on this side is a vortex cannon. Do you guys know what a vortex cannon is? Have you guys seen this before? Which a lot of you have never been here before, but I love this so much because it produces something called a vortex. Does anyone know what a vortex is? What is a vortex? Okay, so I heard space sucked in some sort of, I think maybe you were talking about some spinning maybe, because that is exactly what a vortex is. Vortex is anything that's spinning. So. Is a hurricane a vortex? Is a tornado a vortex? 
Oh my gosh, we have some sleepy people out there. Are you guys just all napping? Afternoon, food settled in. Okay, I'm gonna cap this off. And so what we're doing now is we're filling up our vortex cannon with some smoke. Now we did have some struggles in the first show. We're trying a different gravity-like technique here. Let's try and sink all of the smoke. Now if it doesn't work and you can't see the vortex, we have a backup, we have a fog machine. So look really closely. There's actually movement from the edges towards the center. That's what puts it in the same category. And all of my friends dancing around, let's just make sure this doesn't turn into a mosh pit. Everyone stay in place. We will make sure we get all, everyone will get a smoke ring. All right, we're gonna add some more fog and then I think this will be our last cannon launch. Thank you guys so, so much. We've got someone out there that's eat, they're reaching. They want one so badly. Ah, there we go. Here, I can, I can hold it and you can, there we go. There we go. Teamwork. All right. There you go. All right, we have to fix our vortex cannon. This will take at least seven days. So thank you guys so much. If you guys have any questions, we'll be hanging out up top.